Hi, welcome to Digits. I'm Spencer Ante, and today we have our, as our guest, Telus Demos, who is a reporter in our uh, Money and Investing Group. Welcome, Telus. Hi. Thanks, Spencer. So the big news today out of your story was Data Miner, which is this New York City startup, raised $30 million in venture capital, which is a pretty big check to write for a company. I think for um, most people don't even know what Data Miner yeah. is. So it's what, a three-year-old what, company. Too. Yeah, what, what, what do they do? So uh, Data Miner, uh, they have access to what they call the full Twitter fire hose, meaning that they have a partnership with Twitter. They can see all the about 400 million or so tweets that come out every day. Mm -hmm. All those tweets feed into algorithms that they've developed. They have, mm -hmm. you know, a dozen sort of, you know, physics PhDs and mm -hmm. other kinds of advanced folks working on algorithms that process and analyze those tweets mm -hmm. and come up with, find basically the most meaningful kind of actionable tweets, right? They find mm -hmm. things that are newsworthy or uh, unique or interesting and sell them to clients. Mostly their clients now are Wall Street firms like hedge funds, trading firms who use this data, mm -hmm. some big banks. Uh, they also sell them to government agencies um, mm -hmm. that use them to you know, look for, for, for activity of one kind or another, look for news or things they should be following. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm intrigued by the fact that they're focusing on Wall Street and government. Obviously, they think there's a market for people who will pay for access to this um, proprietary data. So. Uh, what's the what's the sense of like the value of this to the clients and and what's the business model behind it? Well, in in on Wall Street, it's it's pretty simple. It's you know whenever somebody has a trading advantage of some kind, when they might know something ahead of somebody else, mm -hmm. there's a network effect because if one guy thinks that the other guy might know something, you know, a few minutes ahead of him, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they they kind of want in on it, and yeah. so that's how they've grown very quickly on Wall Street. Word has sort of gotten out that you know if you subscribe to Data Miner, which is a kind of a web-based platform, you pay like a like a license for mm -hmm. for each each person at the company who uses it, um, and you know so so if you if you have the data miner subscription, you might hear something about you know for example um, they use there was a recent example where there was a freight train derailment uh, outside of Baltimore Maryland and it was mm -hmm. a CSX train and CSX's stock fell a little bit when there was news that this freight train had developed well. Uh, data miner, you know, had basically because people were tweeting on the ground, people yep. who were nearby saying right. something's happened. There were kind of local sources saying that something had happened, so they were able to kind of put out an alert saying something has happened. You know, with a freight train outside mm -hmm. of Baltimore, you know, a few minutes before major news sources reported it, and the stock kind of shot up and shot down. So basically, right. you know, ahead of that. Yep. You know, people had that it's alert. Twitter is the real-time information system. We've yeah. seen numerous examples of this in history with the uh, assassination of Osama bin Laden was, in some people think, was broken on Twitter. Right. Um, I don't know if that's an actionable item on Wall Street, but <laughs> it was a big news event. But Twitter is also susceptible to hacking. Right. right. So we've seen a recent event where the AP account was taken over by some hacker and they published a false news report. I'm wondering. Do the data miner people have any ability to sort of uh, mitigate that risk, or did you talk to them about that? Well, you know, I, I did. I asked them about mm -hmm. that example, and uh, they said that they did send out an alert, you know, basically saying that the AP Twitter feed, which is, you know, obviously their algorithm suggested is a credible news source because mm -hmm. on most days it is, yep. um, that the AP had had reported this. However, within about I think about four minutes, mm -hmm. they had sent another alert. To another tweet saying that it was probably false, and that actually was a tweet coming from a reporter who was based in the basement of the White House. This mm -hmm. is about four minutes later. Now, if you look at the stock chart, you can see that before you know the market swooned on the initial news. Yeah. Before the market had fully recovered, they had sent out that alert. So I think what Data Miner hopes is that you know if something false is put out there, that just as quickly as it was sort of disseminated, that just as quickly the sort of the world of Twitter will sort of suss out that it was false and kind of, you know, th their algorithms will see that again. That's really interesting. Well, you know, I think what we're seeing here is the Twitter as a platform and as Facebook has been a platform and helped other companies make money, maybe Twitter is hoping to do that and so we'll have to have you back to see uh, how much money they're going to be making from all this stuff. So thanks for coming in sure. and check it out more on WSJ.com. Thanks.